Hello, it's Sev here from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to the video guide for the Peugeot Boxer underbonnet for um, vehicle years ranging from 2007 to about 2011. Uh, you should have the headlight design that looks rather like this. Now, this particular model um, is, I believe, a 2.2. HDI. So, like I say, yours may vary, but as long as you've got this set of headlights and your vehicle ages around those years, then this should uh, be somewhat representative of your vehicle's under bonnet layout. But of course, do bear in mind there may be some differences between this particular vehicle and uh, your vehicle itself. So the first step to gaining access to the under bonnet area is to open the passenger door and your bonnet release is here on the edge of the dashboard. So just give that a good firm pull and that should release the bonnet. Now, uh, you can see the cab floor here. And if I lift up this carpet, there is actually a false floor. And if you take that up, it's about half the size of the cab or half the width of the cab floor. Uh, if you take that false floor up, that compartment that you reveal will contain the vehicle battery. It's not actually going to be found in the engine bay that we'll see uh, momentarily. So just bear that in mind. Now, once you've got the bonnet unlocked, you reach under roughly in the center and you should feel a flappy paddle, which is just there. And then we need to take this bar and lock it into the black retainer that we see just over here. So I'm going to do that whilst trying my absolute best to try and keep as much of this in a good shot as possible. It's not really that easy, but let's have a go. So I'm lifting the arm up now, pop it into the larger hole of the retainer like so. And then once it's in the larger hole, we block it across to the right and that now holds it securely in place. And now we've got all the time in the world. So we'll start over here in the driver's headlight side of things where we have the screen wash filler just here. And then below it, we have the power steering fluid with a little picture of a steering wheel on there. This is the brake fluid reservoir with a little picture of a brake disc there. And then we have your engine coolant reservoir right here. On top of the engine, we have the oil filler. And if we lean in, we should see the dipstick. And there it is just there, that yellow uh, ring pull. Then we go over to the other side of the engine where we have here your fuse, uh, sorry, your um, air filter housing, and it's next to your fuse and relay box right here. Now, because the vehicle battery is tricky to access, um, if you did need to trickle charge or check the voltage levels of your vehicle battery, you can do so by lifting up this cap or uh, flap here on the fuse box to reveal a metal tab. That can be used as the positive battery terminal extension, and your negative can be attached to this bolt just here. Okay, now, like I say, that's for trickle charging or checking voltage. Please do not jump start these vehicles. Um, they could run the risk of having damage to the vehicle electronics, specifically the ECU. Um, and if that does end up damaged, it's quite a costly repair bill. So try and find another way of starting the vehicle, either replacing a flat vehicle battery or whatever it might take. Jump start only as a last resort if you have to, and then you just... Uh, don't run the risk so quickly of damaging the vehicle electronics. And that's pretty much it for the underbonnet area. So what I'm going to do is close the bonnet. So what I need to do is unlock the arm here in the retainer. And then I can lift that bar free and lock it back down onto the bulkhead down here where it clips in place. And then we simply lower the bonnet down to about two, three inches and we should just be able to let go and the weight itself should be enough to close it nice and securely. And there we have it. That about wraps up the video guide for the underbonnet area of this age of Peugeot Boxer. But hopefully this video has been useful and informative. I'm Sev, and thank you very much for watching.